Today marks 100 years since a legendary discovery of King Tut's tomb. What's still being discovered in the desert sand a century later? Ever pondered the mysteries concealed beneath the Earth's surface for centuries? Archaeology unveils these secrets, but not all discoveries are for the faint-hearted. What secrets do you think remain undiscovered? Which archaeological find do you believe holds the most captivating mystery? Join the adventure as we explore the 20 most insane archaeological discoveries ever made. Number 20. The Cave of Altamira Altamira's significance lies in being the original site where remarkable cave paintings from the Paleolithic era were unearthed. The museum, strategically constructed next to the closed-off original cave, ensures the preservation of its archaeologically crucial remains. While various notable caves linked to ancient human history, such as Lasco and one in the quaint Spanish town of Atalas, have been discovered, none rival the sheer grandeur of Altamira. Discovered in 1868, the authenticity of Altamira's prehistoric paintings initially faced skepticism due to their nature and the absence of comparable cave art in Europe. The doubts lingered regarding whether these depictions were genuinely prehistoric. The prevailing skepticism extended to questioning if human symbolic behaviour coincided with language or if it dated back to the emergence of a human-like appearance. The persistence of research eventually triumphed, establishing the age of the paintings at approximately 36,000 years old. Number 19. The Rosetta Stone For centuries, unravelling the detailed hieroglyphics of ancient Egypt remained an insurmountable challenge for archaeologists. In France, Jean-Francois Champollion and in Britain, Thomas Young shared the belief that the elusive key to deciphering hieroglyphics lay within the Rosetta Stone. However, decoding this ancient puzzle was far from easy, as the stone guarded its secrets fiercely. The absence of a starting point left scholars perplexed in their attempts to make sense of inscriptions on Egyptian monuments and artefacts. Everything changed in 1799 with the serendipitous discovery of the long-lost Rosetta Stone a colossal slab of inscribed rock that held the crucial clues needed for translation. This seemingly unremarkable stone transformed our understanding of humanity's past. While the content of the text wasn't particularly riveting, its brilliance lay in the repetition of the same passage in three different languages, one of which was ancient Greek. The Greek portion explained that the tablet conveyed identical information in all three languages. Leveraging the familiarity of ancient Greek, widely understood by researchers, paved the way to deciphering hieroglyphics, ultimately unlocking the puzzling secrets of ancient Egyptian writing. Number 18. Borobudur Borobudur, discovered by Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles in 1814, stands as one of the most breathtaking and colossal Buddhist temples in existence. Constructed in the 9th century, this marvel boasts 72 open-work stupas and an impressive blend of Indonesian and Indian architectural influences. The temple's design catapults visitors back to an era where religion and spirituality took centre stage in daily life, offering a unique pilgrimage site for Buddhists worldwide. Amidst the awe-inspiring structure, playful monkeys roam the grounds, serving as a whimsical reminder of Borobudur's lively past. The terracotta warriors aren't merely an army, they are proof of ancient engineering marvels and one man's visionary power. Speculations about a river of mercury in Emperor Qin Shi Huang's tomb add an intriguing layer to this ancient wonder, reflecting beliefs in the quest for immortality. Surviving over two millennia, the terracotta warriors stand as an affirmation of their enduring legacy and the extraordinary vision that brought them into existence. Number 17, Sutton. In 1939, an extraordinary medieval grave emerged in England, standing as one of Europe's most remarkable archaeological finds. This discovery, often hailed as the most significant in the country's history, carries a weighty responsibility for those tasked with its preservation. Located on an estate in Suffolk, owned by Edith Pretty, 
the burial mounds beneath her property became the focus of exploration by archaeologists. The findings proved so astonishing that they inspired the creation of the 2021 film The Dig. The excavation revealed a buried ship within the most promising mound, accompanied by a treasure trove of artefacts, including gold armour and other Anglo-Saxon relics. Despite being one of the UK's most impressive archaeological revelations, the identity of the grave's occupant remains shrouded in mystery. Although an inquest ruled that all items belonged to Edith Pretty, who generously donated the entire collection to the British Museum, uncertainties persist. Most signs point to the likelihood that this remarkable resting place belonged to Redwald, a renowned East Anglian king who ruled the region around 14 centuries ago. Number 16. The Headless Vikings of Dorset In 2009, a mysterious discovery unfolded at Ridgeway Hill in Dorset, England a mass grave revealing the decapitated remains of 54 Viking warriors dating back to the early 11th century. This grim site offers a visceral glimpse into the violent clashes between Vikings and Anglo-Saxons during that tumultuous era. The skeletons, predominantly men aged 18 to 25, bear the brutal scars of a violent demise, displaying deep cut marks on their bones, indicative of execution by swords or axes. Notably, the severed heads were meticulously piled apart, suggesting a display of power or a captivating warning to others. Beyond its macabre details, this finding holds immense significance by providing tangible evidence of Viking presence in England, a reality predominantly confined to historical texts. The scene vividly illustrates the harsh realities of warfare in the early medieval period, shedding light on a turbulent chapter in history where conflict and brutality left their indelible mark on the landscape. Number 15. The Sarah Piam of Alexandria Functioning as the preeminent repository of its time, the Library of Alexandria wielded an irresistible allure for scholars, drawing them to Egypt and establishing itself as the ancient world's quintessential symbol of knowledge. During its zenith, this extraordinary library accommodated an unparalleled abundance of scrolls, beckoning some of the most brilliant minds from the Greek world. Its popularity was such that a daughter library, known as the Serapium of Alexandria, emerged later on, extending the legacy of its renowned predecessor. While the Library of Alexandria met its demise, the Serapium endured a bit longer, meeting its end in 398. In the mid-1950s, the site transformed into a Muslim cemetery, concealing the remnants of the Serapium. However, a remarkable rediscovery occurred when the foundations of this serpentine structure were unearthed, revealing one of the paramount centres of learning in human history. The Library of Alexandria and its offspring, the Serapium, stand as evidence of the profound impact and enduring legacy of ancient knowledge and scholarship. Number 14. Richard III's Grave this mysterious figure reigned as the King of England and Lord of Ireland until his demise in 1485 during the Battle of Bosworth Field, marking the conclusion of the Wars of the Roses and the conclusion of the Middle Ages in England. Immortalised by Shakespeare in his eponymous play, Richard III's fate was sealed with the poignant line, My Kingdom for a Horse, as he succumbed on the battlefield, having lost his steed. Following his death, Richard III became the last British king to perish in combat. His body was hastily buried, fading into obscurity until a significant revelation in 2012. During that year, researchers uncovered the remnants of a medieval church beneath a contemporary parking lot, revealing the well-preserved skeleton of Richard III. Astonishingly, he was interred without a coffin or shroud. The discovery a culmination of bone markings and genetic analysis confirmed the long-awaited revelation after more than five centuries, the unearthing of one of England's most infamous rulers, offering a remarkable glimpse into the historical puzzle surrounding Richard III's final resting place. Number 13. Lalibela Churches 
The mummies at Lali Bella are as renowned as the churches themselves. But fear not, for these mummies are far from haunting dreams. Legend whispers tales of these mummies being the ancient rulers of Ethiopia, and it seems these kings had a penchant for opulence. Encased in gold crowns and adorned with jewellery, their mummified legacy reflects a regal love for splendour. According to myths, King Lalibela received divine guidance in his dreams, urging him to construct not just one or two, but eleven monolithic churches. Now, that's unwavering commitment. Each church stands as a testament to artistic finesse, with distinct styles, intricate carvings, and captivating artwork. Forget bricks and mortar, these churches are hewn from solid rock, a feat of craftsmanship echoing like an original man cave but for monks. Beyond their awe-inspiring construction, Lalibela churches boast ceremonial passageways and an extensive drainage system, elevating their significance. While these churches weren't discovered in the conventional sense, having been utilized for centuries by Ethiopian Orthodox Christians, they garnered international attention in the 20th century when scholars and archaeologists delved into their exploration and documentation. Number 12. Aldivai Gorge Aldivai Gorge isn't just a single archaeological spot, but an entire region holding paramount significance in the realm of paleoanthropology, the study of early humans. This locality has proven indispensable in unraveling the tapestry of early human culture and evolution, revealing that the story of our evolution is far from complete. Amidst the rugged landscape, researchers have unearthed ancient stone tools and hominid fossils, providing a fascinating glimpse into the past. Occupied for nearly two million years, Olduvai Gorge was once home to an archaic human species known as Homo habilis. The richness of the archaeological material extends to other discoveries, collectively referred to as Homo habilis after the species Louis Leakey named in 1960 at Aldebaran. Without Olduvai Gorge and its wealth of archaeological treasures, our comprehension of archaic humans would be significantly restricted. This expansive site not only chronicles the evolution of early humans, but also underscores the realization that there is still much to be uncovered. Number 11. Gobekli Tepe Discovered in 1963, Gobekli Tepe's true significance wasn't fully grasped until the mid-90s, when German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt recognized the stone slabs in the area as the caps of ancient megaliths. Commencing an extensive excavation, Schmidt and his team unearthed numerous colossal stone monoliths adorned with intricate carvings, some weighing a staggering 20 tons. This monumental site, dating back to the Neolithic period, boasts massive circular structures supported by stone pillars. Gobekli Tepe holds the title of the world's oldest megaliths, erected as early as 9500 BCE. Although the exact purpose of the site remains a mystery, the carved reliefs offer glimpses into prehistoric religious practices, creating a puzzling narrative. Gobekli Tepe is more than just a historical relic. It signifies the birthplace of religion, shrouded in mysticism. Number 10. The Dead Sea Scrolls The mere mention of the Dead Sea Scrolls evokes an air of mystery and fascination, portraying a narrative of ancient secrets concealed in the heart of the desert. In 1947, an unsuspecting Bedouin shepherd tending to his flock in the Judean desert unwittingly unraveled one of the greatest archaeological mysteries in history. Who would have thought that goats could indirectly lead to such profound discoveries? Discovered within substantial clay jars, the scrolls bore Hebrew writings surpassing a millennium in age compared to any existing Bible texts. Comprising texts in Hebrew, Aramaic and Greek dating back to the Second Temple period, these scrolls encompass religious texts hymns, prayers, and historical accounts. Revered by scholars as one of the most momentous revelations of the 20th century, the Dead Sea Scrolls transcend being mere ancient documents. They stand as revolutionary artifacts reshaping our comprehension of the evolution of Judaism and Christianity, offering profound insights into the religious beliefs and practices of their era. Number 9. 
The Terracotta Army Unveiled by chance, the Terracotta Army stands as one of the most momentous archaeological discoveries in history. This extraordinary find began when farmers in the Shaanxi province of western China stumbled upon fragments of pottery, leading to the excavation of an immense terracotta army. This army, safeguarding the afterlife of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, was concealed within a tomb constructed over 2,200 years ago, showcasing the sheer grandeur of his empire. Emperor Qin, whose empire transformed into a formidable fortress protected by the Great Wall, is portrayed in legend as a powerful yet tyrannical figure. Over 8,000 life-sized clay soldiers were meticulously crafted to stand guard in his eternal abode. Rows upon rows of warriors, each uniquely detailed, were designed to be immortalized in the afterlife. What elevates the awe-inspiring nature of this necropolis is its colossal scale, stretching almost 40 square miles, with vast sections still concealed in inaccessible vaults. Number 8. The Vampire Graves of Europe Throughout Europe, especially in Poland and Bulgaria, archaeologists have unearthed graves that narrate a spine-chilling tale of fear and superstition. These intriguing burial sites, known as vampire graves, reveal a practice intended to thwart the deceased from returning as vampires. Dating back to the 12th century and beyond, skeletons in these graves bear witness to a widespread panic about the undead during medieval times. In Bulgaria's Sozopol, a particularly striking discovery in 2013 shed light on this dark practice. The remains of two men were found with iron rods thrust through their chests, showcasing a method believed to prevent post-mortem transformation into vampires. Similarly, in Poland, graves were uncovered where heads were removed and placed between the knees or hands, serving as another means to ensure the deceased remained undisturbed. These macabre findings offer a vivid glimpse into the medieval mindset steeped in fear of the supernatural. Number 7. The Quest for Troy's Authenticity For centuries, the authenticity of the Trojan War and the very existence of the legendary city of Troy have sparked heated debates among historians. This enduring tale, passed down through millennia by poets and actors, has left us questioning its reality. At the heart of this mystery lies the Trojan War, immortalized in Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, featuring legendary Greek heroes like Achilles and Odysseus. The location of Troy, lost to knowledge over the years, became a subject of intense scrutiny in the 1800s. Initially, scholars pointed to Hizalik in western Turkey as a probable site. Throughout the 20th century, uncertainties persisted, with scholars grappling with the elusive truth about Troy's existence. After decades of scholarly deliberation, a consensus emerged that Hizalik likely corresponds to the ancient city of Troy. However, the conclusive evidence for the existence of the famed Trojan horse, a pivotal element of the saga, remains elusive. Despite this, identifying Troy's location holds profound significance for historians, providing a tangible link to an ancient tale. Number 6. Bog Bodies Preserved human remains, known as bog bodies, have been unearthed in the peat bogs of northern Europe, causing a mix of fascination and unease. Dating back to the Iron Age, these eerily well-preserved corpses undergo natural mummification due to the bog's acidic and low oxygen conditions. What sets these bodies apart is their remarkable preservation. Skin, hair and even facial expressions remain intact providing a haunting window into the past. Among these bog bodies, the Tolland Man, discovered in Denmark in 1950, stands out as one of the most renowned. Initially mistaken for a recent murder victim due to his serene appearance, investigations revealed he lived around 400 BCE, likely a victim of ritual sacrifice, a common practice in Iron Age Europe. Similarly, the Graubal Man, also found in Denmark, displays such impeccable preservation that his facial stubble is still visible. These remarkably preserved bodies offer invaluable insights into ancient aspects such as clothing, 
diet, health, and the often violent or ritualistic circumstances surrounding their deaths. Number five, the Serapium of Alexandria. In 1850, Auguste Mariette, a French archeologist, stumbled upon the mysterious Serapium of Alexandria by sheer chance. Buried and forgotten for centuries, Mariette's discovery unveiled a grandiose complex spanning 30,000 square meters, adorned with towering columns and intricate carvings that could awe any archaeologist. What truly left Mariette astonished was that this temple served as an underground burial chamber for bulls. Devotees of Sarapas believed these animals held the key to the afterlife, or perhaps simply cherished their beef. Despite the seemingly absurd concept, the engineering marvels of the Serapium cannot be overlooked. Massive granite sarcophagi, each weighing over 70 tons, rest within a network of underground tunnels, showcasing the ingenuity of ancient engineers. The mystery surrounding the Serapium deepens as, even after a century of excavation, researchers grapple with the question of why these sacred bulls received such grand burials. Some posit they were considered physical manifestations of the god Apis, while others see them as symbols of fertility and renewal. Number 4. The Catacombs of Paris City of the Dead Beneath the vibrant streets of Paris lies a unique and solemn world, the catacombs. This expansive underground puzzle, spanning over 300 km, serves as the eternal resting place for millions of souls. Originally limestone quarries, the catacombs transformed in the late 18th century into a sanctuary to address the city's overcrowded cemeteries. The walls of this subterranean realm are meticulously adorned with neatly arranged bones and skulls, some dating back to the tumultuous times of the French Revolution. As visitors traverse this empire of death, a captivating connection to the city's historical tapestry emerges, a silent testimony to past epidemics famines and revolutions. Throughout the tunnels, inscriptions and sculptures enhance the strange yet fascinating atmosphere, weaving a narrative of the catacombs' dark and mysterious past. More than just a burial site, the catacombs of Paris function as a unique museum, unveiling a different and shadowy facet of the City of Lights. Number 3. The Screaming Mummies of Egypt. Egypt's pharaohs, renowned for majestic pyramids and mysterious mummies, have left behind a plethora of intriguing discoveries in their ancient necropolises. Amidst these, the presence of screaming mummies stands out, corpses found with mouths agape in what appears to be a final scream. Contrary to any ancient curse, this unsettling sight is a natural outcome post-death. If the jaw isn't secured, it can fall open during decomposition, creating the illusion of a perpetual scream. One of the most famous instances is the Unknown Man, dubbed Unknown Man E, discovered in the late 19th century. His contorted expression and bound hands suggest a tale of intrigue, possibly execution. Theories range from him being a disgraced prince to a foreign dignitary. Another notable example is Mareza Moon, a temple singer whose open mouth enhances her lifelike appearance. These screaming mummies offer valuable insights into ancient Egyptian burial practices and beliefs about the afterlife. Number 2. Pompeii. Pompeii, counted among the world's most famous ruins, met its tragic end in 79 AD, engulfed by the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius. This once thriving village lay forgotten for over 1,500 years, concealed beneath layers of volcanic ash until the 16th century. In a mere 18 hours, Pompeii was buried under an immense weight of volcanic debris, preserving it like a time capsule. Upon excavation, the city emerged remarkably intact, capturing a poignant snapshot of a society frozen in the moments of disaster. The preserved remains reveal a cross-section of Pompeian life, from slaves to the upper class, offering an unparalleled opportunity to understand societal dynamics. Today, Pompeii stands as one of Italy's premier tourist attractions, serving as a captivating window into Roman history.
Despite its tragic tale, Pompeii has become an invaluable source of knowledge about ancient Roman life, surpassing many archaeological sites worldwide. Number 1. Tutankhamun's Tomb King Tutankhamun's tomb is like a treasure chest for every hopeful treasure seeker. Imagine wandering through a captivating display of priceless artifacts, intricate carvings, and detailed hieroglyphics covering every inch of the walls, a captivating spectacle that might leave anyone in awe. As we explore, the richness and opulence of the tomb unfold, creating an experience that could easily overwhelm us. However, the true showstopper is revealed in the burial chamber of King Tutankhamun himself. One might almost expect the king to awaken from his slumber, ready to greet us. But perhaps it's for the best that he remains undisturbed, cradled in the majestic embrace of his final resting place. The tomb encapsulates the grandeur of ancient Egypt, inviting visitors to witness the magnificence of a bygone era. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.